God damn. Look at that beautiful face. That right there's a face any mother could love. We are back in the United States, thank God. Was the Sudan trip fun? Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed it, but am I glad to be back on US soil 100%. It was quite a long journey, but you guys are, are probably gonna enjoy the videos. For those of you guys who don't know, I was gone for 14 days in Sudan fishing for just about anything in the Red Sea. I don't think I'll ever do anything like that again. It's a very rare trip and it was fun, but all I could think about while I was there was uh, getting back out on this boat and fishing for some bass, and that is exactly what we're gonna do today. Also, so my big Land Cruiser or Lexus, whatever, is in the shop. So I'm borrowing the uh, Beefcake Mobile today, <laughs> which by the way, I think we're gonna be giving away this week. That's pretty huge. I don't know who the winner is, but if you won, congratulations. Not to bore you guys, I wanna get to the fishing, but I do wanna admit uh, over the next few days, what you'll be seeing on the channel is a little bit of bass fishing paired up with a little bit of Sudan fishing. Alex is gonna be editing the Sudan videos, I'm gonna be editing the bass fishing videos, and we're just gonna kinda of stagger everything and keep you guys just flooded full of some epic content. But I'm back at a lake that I haven't fished in probably a year. I love this place, it's the home of some of the biggest bass I've ever caught in Texas. So I'm yoked, beyond stoked, and ready to go rip some lips, so stick with us, stay tuned. And let's go yank them, folks. Woo! Go, Winkus. Go get him. Go get him, Winkus. Get in the boat. Come on. Good girl. All right, boat's in the water. We're feeling ready, right, Lucky? Are we feeling ready? This is the first fishing session of the spring year for 2020. Holy shit, my pump. We made it. Okay, I think I'm gonna start off today with a jig. This one in particular, this is a thick jig. It's a bait that we collabed with Catchco on. It is a Guggen Times Catchco masterpiece. It's a half ounce flipping jig. Heavy hook, heavy weed guard. Thing about this lake I'm fishing right now is it's got a decent amount of brush. Just a few days ago, the water was super low, but with this rain we had last night, it's really muddied things up and it's raised the water probably by about a foot or so. I didn't really think we got that much water, but now that I'm back here, I'm realizing we got a decent amount of rain. The water being dirty, I like throwing black and blue. I don't really know if it makes a monstrous difference, but that's just kind of my, my go-to. Seems to be kind of the bass angle rule of thumb. And with this jig, I'm gonna pair it with none other than the, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, watch out, Lucky. Um, Let's see, I could do a crack and crawl, but I might do a, a bandito bug. I'm gonna do a Bama bug bandito bug. Normally I throw just a black and blue to match the trailer color, but we're just gonna be different today. I'm gonna bite the head off. Mm. <laughs> Take like two of the appendages off just so it has a, a bit more of a free swimming motion. And there you have it, there's my chunk. And then I'm just gonna throw it on there. This is definitely like my go-to. I'm hoping to find some fish with this. We got some good structure up ahead. So maybe they'll eat, I don't know. What do you think, Lucky, you think they'll eat today? Or am I just gonna pitch it a bunch of water? Or are we just gonna do some sightseeing? Could be one of those sightseeing days. I don't know, I haven't fished Texas in a while. <laughs> oh, that was a f bite there, he's still there. No! Big fish, gone. Big fish, gone. Big fish, gone. <sighs> Bad knot, just not a very good knot. That was a big fish. Okay, well, the jig works. I don't work though, that's the only problem. Oh, now that I got that out of my system, let's see if we can hook one. Watch out, Lucky, I am about to bash my head up against this boat. So far, not so good. I definitely have not bought, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap out of it. It's 12.01 right now, it's lunchtime. I've had one bite all day. I think it was a very big bite. It was in the first spot that I fished. Broke off instantly, that was really sweet. Then uh, following, I did a little ditch mission, uh, kind of a backwoods operation. That was just as productive as the first spot. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think this lake is a little bit low and just doesn't have the fish fully up in the shallows quite yet. These are basically just prime excuses that I'm giving uh, to let you guys know that I'm not doing good. But that's okay, we still have a lot of time, got like five hours left in the water. Gonna go try some main lake junk. One bite so far, 
Whew, and I missed it. Not great, not great at all. Confidence is still up here. Just gotta keep fishing, never stop. You know what I'm saying? That's all I have to report. Hopefully, next time I turn the camera on, I'll have a big old donkey. But as of now, it's pretty damn slow. Oh yeah, that's a bite. Got him. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice one. Yes, about time. About damn time we get some meat in the boat. Holy moly, did I work hard for this fish. Oh, fast forward to five hours later, we got the first spring fish of the year. Whew, that felt good. Oh my God, I've been grinding all damn day looking for something. Admittedly, this is my second bite of the whole spring fishing send. It's not a bad fish. It honestly looks like, that's really weird. That bottom fin almost looks like he was fanning as if he could be on a bed, which is very unlikely, not probable. It's 56 degree water temp back here. But in some areas I found 60, which is definitely enough for these fish to think about spawning. That's a good first fish though. Probably about uh, two and a half pounds, give or take. Caught that guy on the, ju I caught that guy on the thick jig with a bandito bug. Really interesting fish, very pale and white on the bottom, but nice and green on top. Oh, does it feel good to catch a Texas bass? That feels so good. Time to put you back, Jimmy. Thank you. All right, my dude, take care. See ya. Sheesh, that took long enough. My God, so I switched things up a little bit. I'm throwing a different color, same jig, same crawl pattern on the back, but um, just different colors. This is a half ounce thick jig with a uh, watermelon red flake bandito bug. And in the, in the, with the claws, I dipped a little bit of uh, Italian garlic sauce in there. Just get them nice and riled up. I wonder what made this spot different than anything else I fished, because it looks the same. Uh, he was just kind of vibing that area. Ooh, it feels good though. That feels really good. Let's go find some more. Oh my God. You guys want to hear something depressing? Get a load of this. So as you know, I missed your struggle today. And uh, my buddy is also in the lake. He's having a little bit better day than I. He's caught like, I think three or four fish, but he was just at the ramp and he sends me this text. We're kind of going back and forth, exchanging some intel, hopefully putting something together. He's like, yeah, man, 64 degrees here, just caught one, uh, so on and so forth. And now he's catching white bass. And then all of a sudden he sends me this. Some guy just weighed in a 13 pounder at the ramp. That, um, yeah, that's painful to hear. It's my goal. One of my goals that I set for this season was to catch a fish over 10 pounds this spring, or I guess for the 2020 season. And to hear that someone caught a 13 pounder just recently, moments ago, out of the same lake I'm fishing, just blows my mind. Oof, it's painful. It is 428 right now. I got a good hour and a half left to fish. I gotta really think of something here. I gotta figure out where these 13 pounders are at because uh, I sure as hell am not fishing where they are. Holy moly, this season has started off on a rough foot. The angler inside of me is like, like just catch a good one but yeah titties holy titties that sucks it's great for him the person who caught the fish but it, it sucks for me because lucky and i are um sitting on one bass right now just give it all got an hour and a half to go catch a giant fish gotta keep keep at it keep fishing never stop wow i need a beer holy shit. <laughs> you good good Whoa. Whoa, big struggle, big struggle on the lake today. Man, I got hit in the jaw, kicked in the nuts, and punched in the shins. I cannot believe we only caught one fish. Definitely was humbled by these fish. Funny enough is I will be back at the same lake tomorrow, chasing after some, uh, maybe some more hungrier bass. I think I had some odds against me, despite the fact that some Jimmy caught a 13 pounder, which by the way, I learned he took home with him in a cooler, which is the most mental thing I've ever heard like just to make matters worse like someone caught a 13 and then they kept it yeah where am I going with this I'm rambling anyway just a huge uh huge uh just kind of a tough day honestly I'm not gonna let it get me down I'm definitely gonna I'm making the note to come back here tomorrow and gonna wreck some fish gonna mess them up gonna drive the uh, beefcake mobile back to uh the crib and we're gonna get ready for yet another 
ripping day out in the water. Thank you guys so much for the view. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. Day number two on the Big Fish mission. It is 5.30 on the nose. Just getting out, getting ready to fish. I'm returning to the lake that uh, I got my ass kicked at, which makes no sense. You'd think you'd want to go as far away from a place that uh, you didn't do good at. But in this scenario, I, uh, I've got a bone to pick with this body of water, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick some bones and crank some fish, break some necks. Uh, I've got a game plan for today, whereas yesterday I was kind of experimenting trying to fish in new waters i'm feeling a lot more confident it's a friday there shouldn't be too many people out in the lake but you know there you go i just jinxed myself we'll see i guess uh i'm thinking we're gonna catch some fish today may not catch a 13 pounder uh but we'll try our best so stick with us stay tuned and enjoy It is cold, to say the least, the very least. Uh, it's probably 45 degree air temp right now. My, uh, my knots are a bit shriveled, but it's supposed to get up to like 65, which is good. Uh, the interesting thing is the water is fairly warm. It's 55 degrees, and the farther I go back, the more steam I, I see coming out of this creek, which leads me to believe that water temp is like way warmer than 55. Uh, and these creeks are huge. They're monstrous creeks. You could almost even call them rivers. I'm going back to the creek right now, trying not to hit a giant log. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm the only one in the lake right now. This is nuts. So let's see. I mean, I got, I've got, I've got, I got some confidence. I'm all rigged up. I'm ready to go. Let's go crank them. I'm feeling it. What are we gonna start? Start with here. Maybe a jig. Probably a Texas rig. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna start with the T rig. My T rig. I'm proud to be an American. I'm gonna start the morning off by flipping a little crack and craw. I don't know, I'm just gonna flip for a bit. See if I can find some big berthas getting ready to spawn. Oh, it is really cold out here, by the way. I am freezing, holy moly. Got him. Oh, it's a giant. That's a good fish. That's a nice one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Stay pin. Stay pin. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a nice one. That's the one we're after. There we go. There we go. Yes! Woo! Yep. 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 That's the one we're after, boys. Woo! Oh my god, that's a good fish. That's probably six pounds all day. I don't know. I'm gonna get a measurement on this sassy gal. Ooh, I'm pumped. That is redemption. Finally got some revenge on this lake. It's still early in the morning. It's not even 8 a.m. yet. And that is my first bass of the day. I just knew that if I came back here, I'd find some some good fish. And uh, yeah, that's the right one. We have, let's see. Oh, she's just shy of seven pounds. Six pounds. 13 ounces, beautiful fish. My biggest Texas bass of the year. Here we go. Time to send Bessie back. What an absolutely gorgeous fish, my gosh. Oh, look at the colors. That big old head. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Swim away. <laughs> yes. There we have it. One of hopefully many more. Feeling confident now. Let's go crank some more fish. <laughs> Feels good to get some revenge on this shit lake. I hate this lake. Oh, this place sucks. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was epic. <laughs> That'd be a fish too. Any good one. Another nice one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes, sir. Fish number two. Looking good. Today is looking very good. It's probably about a Two and a half pounder on the same deal. <laughs> That's awesome. Two more fish in a matter of an hour. 
than I caught yesterday. Ooh, you're a sassy little dude. See you later. Thanks for biting. Phew. Feels good. There he is. Oh, no, he just came off. That was a big one. How did I snap my line? Damn it. Damn it. That was a good fish. Ah, how did I snap my line? Ugh, oh, broke me clean. Ah, oh, it's frustrating. Not good. That was a pretty good fish, probably about three pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, might have been a 13, I don't know. Even 25 pound test can't hold them back sometimes. Yikes. It's a good fish. Oh my god, that's a nice fish. It's a really nice fish on the chatterbait. Oh my god, that's a giant. That's a tank. That's a tank. That's a tank. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh my god, that's a tank. That's a tank. Oh my god, that might be one of my biggest bass ever. Holy shit. Holy shit. Boys. 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 Are we recording? Holy shit. Holy nut we're recording. Oh my gosh. This might be one of my biggest bass ever. I cannot believe that just happened. Look at that behemoth. Look at that behemoth, bruh. God dang. God, I didn't even think I had a fish. I thought I had weeds. All right, please go eight. Definitely over seven. Oh, not even. Seven one. I overreacted a little bit. Still a giant fish. What a big bodacious beauty that is. Holy moly, look at the size of that bass. That is a quality, quality fish. What a juicer, man. I'm so glad I came back out here. Holy moly. Oh, wow, what a donkey. What an absolute donkey. Look at the size of that fish. Holy moly, what a unit. You're a unit. There he goes. <laughs> Unbelievable. This day just keeps getting better and better. This is so weird. This is this does not seem like the same lake I fished yesterday. If you guys saw my previous video, you probably noticed that I struggled really hard. But we're fishing the same lake, I swear to God. The only thing I've changed today is I've fished a little bit slower and I've tried some different baits. Admittedly, that's the first time I've ever caught a fish on a chatterbait in this body of water in this particular lake. Usually I flip and I, and I cast jigs and I like to work laydowns, but this whole stretch of bank, which you see right here, is like probably about two to three feet of water of just like kind of this not it's not grass it's like reeds almost stems and a lot of times pre-spawn fish will move up here and kind of get the lay of the land especially big ones stage themselves before they spawn that one in particular is about to bust a few degrees away from just laying some eggs getting saucy with it wow you've got a 7 4 a 6 13 and then like a little dink we're looking real good oh man that feels amazing well we are seriously making some headway here my god it's like incredible how bitey the fish are today i think maybe i just needed to give them a day to rest and now they're opening up i wanted to take a sliver of my day to show you guys what i caught that fish on this right here is just a chartreuse and white half ounce cheddar bait i like half ounce because it sinks a little bit deeper four to five feet this is what i'm fishing this thing in big the big kicker when i'm throwing chatter baits is picking the right trailer uh the trailer i'm using today what i caught that fish on it's Carl's Amazing Baits, a little swim bait. This is a Freestyle Junior. This is their tiny three inch swim bait. And these are great little trailers for swim jig, chatter baits, and then also spinner baits. And I just bite the head off, spit them at the camera, slide it right onto my chatter bait. The reason why I like using these swim baits on my chatter baits is the paddle tail is very small, so it doesn't slow that chatter bait down at all. Uh, it just kind of adds some scent with that salt and adds a bit of bulk to the overall presentation. It keeps that bait down in the water column. Crazy how adding a little trail like that can make a world of difference. And I'm throwing this on a 7.4 jig rod. I don't know who makes this rod, but oh, it's Falcon. It's a 7, actually no, sorry. It's a 7.3 jig rod. It's a heavy, but it is not a heavy. Uh, it fishes more like a, a medium 
medium heavy, so therefore I've nominated it as my moving bait rod. I'm throwing this with 17 pound test, 6.3 to one gear ratio reel, just so I can slow things down a bit, especially with the water being cold. And yeah, I mean, the rest is history. Bone apple tip, that looks gorgeous. There we go, another one, another one. Another good fish, another good fish. Oh my God, another nice one. My God, look at the size of this guy. Jesus, Jesus, we are getting bites. We are getting bites. That's a good bass. Don't come undone, that's a good fish. Oh my God. Oh my God, let's go. Just came right undone. That's probably about a six. What a fatty, look at the dots on him. How crazy is that? What an interesting fish. I've noticed largemouth and smallmouth get those weird dots during the spring spawn season. It's like some sort of stress deal. Holy f we're cranking them boys. Getting some bites today. Woo wee. Just for tits and giggies, we might as well get a, a weight on this guy. I'm a big fan of the voluptuous bass. This scale has problems. Oh, no big deal. Just a six pound, 10 ounce fish. Our average today is right around six pounds. Holy guacamole, another nice one. There she goes, just cradling my little baby here. <laughs> See you later, Dottie. There we go, good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish. Good fish, good fish. Yeah, giant, giant fish. Can't even move it, can't even move it. That's a good one, that's a good one. On the chatter bait, on the chatter bait. Good fish, really putting up a nice fight there. Oh God, stay down. There we go, another behemoth. Wow, that one might go seven as well. Holy sh that's a giant. We are putting in work today. Holy moly. There we have it. I'm gonna put this guy on the live while we're gonna get some weights on this guy. This one might go over seven as well. This is the donkey. This is an absolute donkey. S certified slouch. All right, let's get away on this guy. Look at the size of this thing. This might be the biggest one of the day. It is a behemoth. Oh wow, that's over eight pounds. Eight pounds, three ounces. Eight pound, three ounce largemouth bass. What an absolute stud we're gonna get some video and pics i am so amazed right now this day just keeps getting better all right here we go gonna send bessie back what a freaking brute the biggest one of the day just over eight pounds gorgeous fish wow look at the size of that thing that is a unit wow what a freaking bass there he goes look at him just hang in there, big old female free spawn. Wow. Bucky, we're home. We made it. The noodle head. Oh, wow. We're back from the lake, guys. What a session that was. To think yesterday we went from this to today, now this. I was thinking to myself on the way back home, this was definitely one of my best fishing days ever as far as like size and the caliber of fish. I've never really had a day where I've caught two six pounders of seven and then a whopping eight. We were only like a pound and some change off from catching that elusive 10 pound bass. That's like my goal for spring as you guys probably know. And if you can't tell by now, I'm making this kind of like a small series. So this is only day number two, but I feel like we got pretty close today. We're definitely piecing some stuff together. I'm not sure if I'm gonna revisit that lake that I fished today. It's hard not to, but honestly, the grass could be greener. Like I said in today's video, we may be able to find some other lakes that are more productive. I'm tired, I'm wiped, but honestly, all I can think about is getting back out in the water and making it happen. I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. <laughs>